Savez-vous qu'il existe des gâteaux sous forme de champagne, sous forme de pagne africain, sous forme de carte africaine Oui, je l'ai si bien dit, sous forme de la carte de l'Afrique. Mesdames et messieurs, bonjour et bienvenue à cette autre édition hebdomadaire Fabrique d'Afrique. Fabrique d'Afrique, c'est cette émission qui met en lumière les talents africains. Et concernant ces talents africains, aujourd'hui, on va en rencontrer un. C'est une dame, elle est la promotrice de Keg Roche. On ira ensemble pour voir la confection voir, parce que nous sommes les témoins, la confection d'un gâteau sous forme de l'Afrique. Suivez-moi tout de suite. Ce samedi de bonheur, l'équipe de Fabrique d'Afrique est allée dans une entreprise de réalisation de gâteaux artistiques, Cake Hush. La devise « Home is where cake is ». C'est la réceptionniste habillée d'un grand sourire qui nous accueille. Bonjour madame, bienvenue à Cake Hush. Ici, c'est le lieu réservé aux clients. Ils peuvent commander des gâteaux, des biscuits, des glaces à consommer sur place autour de ce décor. Les employés n'ont pas besoin de s'ennuyer. MC Business TV est leur déjeuner habituel. Sans tarder, c'est à la cuisine qu'elle nous dirige. Hello! Welcome, welcome to Cake Hush Kitchen. Oh, I'm so happy to see you guys today. So this is our kitchen, Cake Hush. I know you've been introduced in front. So um, I am uh, Josephine Munangai. I'm the owner and CEO of Cake Hush. We do custom make cakes from, for all locations, birthdays, weddings. We do cookies, cupcakes. We also have a lounge. It has been introduced already. We do ice cream, milkshakes, sorbets, and Whatever you know that is sweet, we do at Cake Hush. All right, um, enough about me and Cake Hush. As I said before, this is our kitchen. I'll introduce you my workers. We Hello. work together. Hello. That's Erica. This is Wendy. This is um, Cecilia. And I am mom. And over there is Serge. I don't know if it was introduced. Is Cake Hush manager. We are going to do some cake today on screen. We are going to demonstrate how we bake a cake from scratch to the decoration, the final decoration. But uh, I think I should say it in French a little. My French is not really good. Okay, um, aujourd'hui, on va faire un gâteau, le début jusqu'à la fin. Um, let me show you a minute what we are going to do today. Aujourd'hui, on va faire un gâteau en thème Afrique. We will present you the African map as a cake. Come and gâteau. Donc, uh, basically, that's where we start. So we have to start with the baking now. Aujourd'hui, on va faire un gâteau au vanille. D'accord. We do vanilla a vanilla cake. Ultimate cake hush vanilla cake. So, um, as you can see, these are our ingredients already weighed. Oops, sorry. Can I have your hand? So we've got flour. We've got cake flour. We've got some eggs, fresh eggs, the pasteurized eggs. Mm. We've got salt. We've got um, baking powder. We've got vanilla extract. We've got milk. Sorry for the spill. We've got milk. And we've got our butter. All right. So, Ethan, yes. let's go together. Let's take, take the <laughs> baking. Okay. Oui, oui. Ça, c'est pour toi. Tu viens de ce côté. <laughs> so, basically, what you do is you first, okay. be, you've measured all your ingredients. Mm -hmm. You've taken the weight already on the scale. And then you place, that's the scale. I've showed you the scale. Voici mm -hmm. le, OK, la balance. la balance. Donc, elle a pris tous les mesures déjà. Parce que ah. le gâteau, le gâteau, c'est une science. It's a, it's a science. Mm -hmm. So, you have to weigh all your ingredients. Because if not, the reaction will not be balanced, so you will not get a cake. C'est un, c'est comme le chimie. Faites un gâteau. Donc tu dois mesurer et tout mesure compte. Si tu dois mettre un cuillère de quelque chose, tu mets un cuillère. Si tu mets deux, ça te donne. Parce que si tu excèdes aussi en même temps, ça sera pas très bon. No, it will give you something else. That's why doing cakes, you have to measuring is extremely important. D'accord. Yeah. 
and then you have all your ingredients your butter at room temperature not cold mm. your eggs at room temperature not cold yeah so um the first thing you do we have to put in the butter can i have uh, a spoon please yeah, just one minute <laughs> yeah you go okay okay done all right and then uh, your sugar it's okay you can break it up okay all right let's do okay so we have 300 grams of sugar all right yeah so now you pour the sugar into the butter all right that's it okay <laughs> and then we get it to the whisk so we do we do whisk it with a paddle attachment we have different kinds of attachment to do a cake we will not use the wicks we we'll use this paddle attachment So here we go. We begin gradually so we don't have a spill out. Because if the speed is too high, everything is going to spill into your face. While our butter and sugar is missing, um, since we are going to do a cake, an African continent, we have um, different we are going to label it. We are going to label different countries on the cake. So um, Cecilia, yes, she's writing out the names of different countries that are going to be placed on the cake. We have Egypt, Algeria, Nigeria, Mali, and she's going to go on and on and fill all of these. Okay, our dry ingredients here is made up of flour, baking powder, and salt. So we are going to put them all together. Là, yes, okay. levy, levy chimique. Donc on mélange, on met tout ensemble, and then you stir, you kind of stir with a oh, hand whisk. Yes, with a hand whisk. Okay. So here we've got eight eggs, and we are going to put. Normally we put three at a time. Donc on met trois en fois. Tu mets trois, tu mélanges, tu mets le reste trois. Tu laisses à mélange et puis, et puis tu laisses le, le reste 3. Okay. Donc comme on a 8, on va mettre 3, 3, 2. Okay. Um, I think our butter is ready now and we're going to add our eggs. We're going to do 3 eggs at a time. Um, so now we are going to reduce the speed and then we add in the eggs. We're going to let it whip for about, let's say a minute. We scrape the sides and then we we'll go to next three. Okay, so we we'll stop. Now I put in the last two. I will use the speed a little, but it's kind of too fast. And when you're baking, you do not want to over whip the egg. Once it's blended in, and that's it. You stop, and then we go in now, we prepare our dry ingredients and our milk, and we add together. And our vanilla extract, we pour it into the milk. We are going to be adding our dry ingredient and our milk alternatively. We begin with the dry, then the wet, then the dry. So I've put in half of my dry ingredient. With the machine, I put it on very low speed. 
before. Then I gradually fold in, adding my weight, my meal. gradually increase the speed. You have to make sure everything is incorporated before we add the remaining flour. Okay, I'm going to add it in the last portion of my flour. In on low speed. And then we increase the speed gradually. We stop. We scrape the sides. And the bottom as well to make sure there is nothing on mix left on mixed. And then we do the final whipping. All right. Our butter is now ready. Move the machine to the side. Okay, before we started, I'd already greased my cake pans. Here we have, we have um, three eight inch that baking tins. This is an eight inch baking tin. I greased it already with butter and aligned the bottom, as you can see, with parchment paper. So it doesn't stick, the cake doesn't stick. And I preheat my oven is at 150 degrees, already turned on getting ready for the cake. So I'm going to measure my butter into the three pans. I'm trying my best for it to be equal, <laughs> to be shared equally. I'm not using a skill. <coughs> Spread it out into the baking tin so everything is baked, level, straight, and leveled. And the next stage after this, we have to bang our baking tins in order to remove any air bubble that is trapped inside. Because if there's an air bubble, when you put a cake into the oven, it rises and it gets to a point because there's an air bubble, it bursts and everything is down. So you have to try to take out any air bubble. If you bring the camera close, I had an air bubble that burst somewhere here. It just burst open. There was no one trapped here. Okay, I think that's fine. So it goes into the oven for let's say 45 minutes, between an hour and 45 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is. Okay, so we we'll leave it in there and we are going to check it after 30 minutes. Well, we are done with baking now and our cake has been sitting in the fridge for two hours. Now we'll go into the decorating proper. 
So I'll take my cake from the fridge. It's been chilling for two hours at least. You can leave it for more than that. So we are going to cover, we are going to fill in the cake now with frosting and then we shape it into our African map design as we said earlier and then we are going to cover it with um, sugar paste. What we do basically to frost the cake, we have to first of all divide the cake into two so we have frosting into it. We have um, buttercream. This is some um, Italian marine buttercream. It's made, uh, it's made with um, sugar and butter and um, other essence like strawberry essence, flavoring and caramel. We also have caramel in our frosting. And uh, this is still the same frosting. We use it in the final decoration. It's still the same frosting, colored blue. And um, this is some um, royal icing. We are going to use it in the final decoration as well. Okay, I'll begin by getting my cake, dividing into two. I've already done it. You see why the reason why the cake is supposed to be chilled because if the cake is not chilled cake is fragile it's soft once i do that everything will go off it's going to break so now i'm going to cover it fill it up with my frost begin one thing i also do here when i'm doing my frosting i do a lot of jam we have um, raspberry jam. We have um, salted caramel. We have um, pineapple jam. And we have apricot jam. So it all depends on the client, whatever filling you want for your cake. So today I'm going to do kind of a mixture of all. And then the next step, we cover it up now with our buttercream. We've run out, we have to fill our bag. Jeez, come on, Jeez. Cecilia is helping me out. I think that's enough, thank you. Out. We use our palette knife. This is called a palette knife, or you call it a buttercream leveler, whichever way you want it. And Ceci, please get rid of all this. This one back on top. Okay, now I'm done with the filling inside. I have to shape it into our shape. We have to cut it now to the shape we want. So I'll move it onto a bigger board. This is small. I'll use a bread knife 
and I'll also use our pre-prepared shape. Okay, now we are going to, yeah, now we are going to cut our cake into the desired shape that we want. As you can see, our cake is not very leveled. It's not really straight. We have a kind of mountain hip on this side, so we have to make it really flat. So I'll try not trim it. <laughs> so I think now it's flat. I'm going to save other parts. As you can see, the cake is not long enough. We'll save it for this other part. If your cake is not chilled, you cannot do this process because if not, everything will be falling apart. Our cake, our African map was in the fridge because it became too soft so I had to cool it down a little before we do our crumb coat. We are supposed to do the first layer of covering the cake with buttercream. We have to seal up the cake before we go to the second stage. We call it crumb coating. So I'm going to put buttercream all over my cake. One. We'll take out any I have to take it again one more time in order to make sure I go into all the curves and so we, can, we don't lose them.
out. Now it's cold, it's okay. And uh, before then, I prepared my board. The cake is going to sit on this board. It's about um, 20 inches. It's a rectangular board. So we are going to transfer our cake onto the board and continue our deco from there. So, I'll place Madagascar to the side. Okay, fine. Can I have the buttercream? Our board is covered with um, a silicone sheet. It's okay, it's fine. I'll place it on the board because our cake was divided. That's why. Place it, add a bit of buttercream so as to make everything straight. We are going to move to the next step, covering the cake with sugar paste. This is what sugar paste looks like. It's also called fondant and um, it's homemade or made by Cake Hush. This is one of our products that we also sell. So we also sell sugar paste in white. This one has been colored brown because um, of the soil. You know, the African soil is dark. So um, we are going to roll it out and place it on the cake. Dust our surface that has been cleaned with cornstarch. We use cornstarch to prevent the fondant from sticking onto the surface. Use our rolling pin. Top of my rolling pin, I'll place it now on the cake. And I use my hands to kind of stick the fondant onto the cake. I have to use my finger in order to press the fondant against the cake so it gets into all the curves. Well, so far so good. Um, sorry, I didn't say anything in French. <laughs> my French is so rusty, goodness. Um, <laughs> on the um, the fondant. I 
as you can see uh africa a proud africa is now covered with um sugar paste now um we have here a kind of stencil we made this morning Okay, here we go. We've kind of um, segmented, divided our African continent. So um, after this, we are going to label each country, and then when we are done with um, everything, we'll take out the plastic sheet, and then we are going to go on to Madagascar. I think that's fine. We're going to do the edges. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I just want to shape it first. Welcome back to Cake Hush Kitchen. Um, as you can see, comme vous pouvez voir, on a fini avec uh, notre Mama Africa. So um, I hope um, you enjoyed my video, and um, I hope you get other much many cakes from Cake Hush. C'était vraiment passionnant. Un parcours du combattant, c'était trop bien. Trop beau ce qu'on voit là, mesdames et messieurs. Merci de toujours rester abonné sur la chaîne MC Business TV. Et déjà, je vous félicite, mom. Vous vous faites appeler mom. Yes. <rire> je vous félicite vraiment. Ce que vous faites, c'est génial. C'est du talent au bout des doigts. Il faudrait qu'on puisse le dire. Alors, c'est la fin de cette émission. Comme vous pouvez le constater, comme vous pouvez le voir, c'est de l'art, comme je l'ai tantôt dit, elle a pu préparer ou alors fabriquer, puisqu'il s'agit de fabrique d'Afrique, ce que vous voyez devant vous, une carte de l'Afrique. C'est l'Afrique qui gagne de toutes les façons. C'est le continent africain. Merci et on se retrouvera la semaine prochaine. N'oubliez pas votre secret. Abonnez-vous massivement à la chaîne en activant, comme vous avez l'habitude de le faire, la cloche de notification pour ne plus rien manquer. Quant à moi, je vais vraiment déguster ce petit gâteau.